Hey guys, nice to see you. So, we're going to start today's lesson with the rhythm cards. All you need to do is clap the rhythm cards along, okay? And just remind yourselves of the crotchets, the quavers, the minims, the rests, and the dotted minim, and how we clap them, okay? I will speak to you later on. Rhythm cards set two. Minims, crotchets, quavers, and rests. One, two, three, four. Two frogs, frog, frog. One, two, three, four. Two frogs, two frogs. One, two, three, four. Frog, frog, two frogs. One, two, three, four. Tadpole frog, two frogs. One, two, three, four. Frog, Tadpole, two frogs. One, two, three, four. Two frogs, tadpole frog. One, two, three, four. Shh, shh, tadpole frog. One, two, three, four. Frog, tadpole. Shh, shh. One, two, three, four. Frog, shh, shh. Frog. One, two, three, four. Tadpole, shh, shh, frog. Set three rhythm cards. Dotted minims, crotchets, quavers, and rests. One, two, three, four. Three frogs, frog. One, two, three, four. Three frogs, tadpole. One, two, three, four. Tadpole three frogs. So you've had a little practice of the crotchets, the quavers, the minims, the rest and the dotted minim. We're now going to put those together. You're going to read four bars of music without stopping. Now, if you're at home, you might want to use a, a pan and a wooden spoon or a bowl or um, a mug and a pen. And if anything else, you can just clap. At school, you might have the little hand drums or you might have an instrument that you can use. And again, if not, we can just clap. OK, so what happens is you've got 30 seconds to learn the first line and then we'll play it together. And then you get 30 seconds to learn the second line and we play it together. And then the third line and the fourth line. So you get 30 seconds. In those 30 seconds, you want to play that line as many times as you can accurately. So don't just play it once and think, oh, I've done it. Play it lots and lots of times and keep thinking about your two frogs, frog, tadpole. Use that knowledge that you've got to be able to play it. OK, right. Here is your first line. Line one, one, two, three, together. Line two together. One, two, three, four. Shh, shh, shh.
together. One, two, three, four. together. One, two, three, four. Shh. Shh. Okay, folks, so it's that time in the lesson when we learn to read the treble clef. And remember, we've got to use those two rhymes to work out the place of each note. So our two rhymes are at the top. Every good boy deserves football for the lines and faces in a space. So like always, we'll do the first one together. So you can see this one is in the space. So we count the spaces. F, A, it's in the A space. And then these two are the same. So we only have to work it out once. There's a line in it, so we're going to count the lines. Every good boy deserves. So that's a D, and that must be a D. So on your board, you would write the word add. Remember, nothing else, just the letters at the bottom. So you've got 30 seconds. Can you work out this word? So our first two notes here and you're in face. So we've got F and F A. And then this last one, every good boy. So you should have got the word fab. Here's your next word. So our first two notes are in face, F, A, C, F, A. And then this is the line, every good. And then back to the face, F, A, C, E. So you should have got the word cage. OK, ready for your next one. So our first note here, a line. So every good boy deserves. And then we're in the top space, F, A, C, E. Second space, F, A. And the top line, every good boy deserves football. And we get the word death. Here is your last one today.
So here we go. The first note, every good boy. Then onto face, FA. Every good boy deserves. Every good. And back to face, F-A-C-E. And you get the word badge. Hopefully you got four out of four today. OK, guys, see you next time. OK, so let's start with the B, the thumb and first finger. I play, you play. OK, remember to blow gently and you should talk. Me first. Fantastic. Now let's play an A. So we need our two fingers on. Make sure you've got your hole at the back cord and those two. It's got to sound nice. You're the one that's putting your fingers on, so you check and make sure it's your left hand. Okay, me first. Brilliant. And now let's try the G. So we're going to put three fingers tightly down and our thumb. Use the pads of your finger. Look, you can see it's the pads. I'm not using the tip. It's the pad of the finger. Push them down. Me first. Using my tongue, blowing gently. It will sound low. Fantastic. Now this time you're going to have to watch Mr. Simon's fingers because I'm going to mix up the notes. All right. So you watch my fingers and see if you can copy. OK. Fantastic. Now, remember, if yours is sounding a little bit squeaky, there's two things. One, make sure your fingers are pushing into the holes tightly. If there's any air escaping, it will make a horrible squeak noise. And the other thing, make sure you're blowing gently into your mouthpiece and using your tongue. If you blow too hard, it sounds horrible and an awful squeak. And we don't want that. We want really nice playing. OK, brilliant. I think it's time to play a piece of music. One, two, three, four. Fantastic. We're going to play A and B march. So if we look at the screen, we've got all of these crotchets. 
And then the semi-breathe at the end. Remember that very long note worth four. So we've got to hold that one on. And then the same here, all these crotchets and a semi-breathe at the end. Okay. So it goes frog, 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 pond. Frog, 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 pond. Brilliant. And you can see we've got to change note. We start with the Bs, and then when we get to the blue ones, look, we've got to put our second finger on. And then we take it off again, and we put it back on again. So it's really, really tricky. Let's have a go without the backing track. So I'm going to play with you, and I'll also point at the screen. So we start with our B. One, two, three, four. And stop. Now, did you finish with two fingers on? Did you play one, one, and then put two on for the blues? Two, two. Let's try again. Remember, that's what you've got to do. Start with a one. One, two, three, four. Brilliant. I'm going to just show you a little video of me playing that. Okay, folks, so here's my one. And then it says two, so I put my second finger on for the blue. And then it says red again, so I've got to take it off. So the top one is red, and the second one is blue. Red, red, blue, blue. I'm going to play you that line now, just so you can see my fingers. see how they're dancing yeah now the second line does the opposite we don't start with a one we start with a two we start with a blue so it goes blue blue red red okay so let's have a go at the second line together okay so here we go two fingers on left hand at the top remember one two three four Fantastic, brilliant. Let's try that with the backing track. So get yourselves ready guys. Holding your recorder properly, left hand at the top, pinching with your thumb and first finger, and we're going to play A and B march. One, two, three, four. Well done guys, let's go again after four. One, two, three, four. Fantastic, hopefully that went really well. But if you need to do it again, then just rewind on the video a little bit and you'll be able to play it a few times until you get there. It just takes a bit of practice, that's all, okay? So I'm going to move on to the next tune we're going to do. Okay, this one is a little bit slower. It's called B's and A's. And you can see we've got our crotchets and then we've got our minim, the two frogs. Frog, 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 frog two frogs. So for this one we've got to hold our note on. Da, the two beats. Da, two counts. Da, da, da. So this one here we've got to hold on for two counts. Da, da, da. Frog, frog, two frogs. Okay, so let's try it together. We're going to clap it and I'm going to put the backing track on so we can clap along. One, two, three, together. Frog, frog, 
frog, frog, frog, frog, two frogs, frog, 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 two frogs, frog, 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 pond. Brilliant. Let's try it one more time. Clapping together. One, two, three, four. Frog, 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 two frogs. Frog, 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 two frogs. Frog, 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 Fantastic. So let's have a go with our recorder. You can see we start with the red, which is our thumb and first finger. And then we go to a blue. So let's try it together. Here we go. A one, two, three, four. Well done, one more time guys. Oh, one, two, three, four. Fantastic. Again, hopefully that's gone really well. If not, don't worry, just rewind on the video a little bit and you'll be able to play it a few times. Now we're gonna move on to our next tune, which has got all three notes in. Hot cross buns. So we've got our B, our A, and then three fingers look, our G, okay? So I'm gonna just show you on the video. We start with a B. Then an A, then a G. And if you remember, Mr. Simons cleverly did that in the warm up for us. So we've already done that today in our lesson, okay? And that's hot cross buns. One, two, three. You've got to remember though, guys, to keep your fingers in the middle so you get the holes. Otherwise it's gonna make a horrible squeaky noise and we don't want that. Keep using your tongue and blowing gently, okay? Now it's time to try it on the recorder. So left hand at the top, girls and boys. Let's do it together. Push down tightly, ready? Off we go. Ready to go again, guys? Off. We go. Well done, guys. Now let's have a look today at part two. You can see part two is very similar, but actually it's the opposite way round. In part one, we start with a B. But part two, look, we start with a G. So instead of going one, two, three, we're going to go three, two, one. You can see they've put it in reverse. So we need our three fingers on ready with our left hand. Push down tightly and don't forget your thumb. So we're going to play three, two, one. Three, two, one. One, 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 two, 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 three, two, one. Okay, let's try it together. Let's do it without the backing track. So, three fingers on. One, two, three, four. Fantastic. 
you can see here just make sure you keep your one on all the time let's try it one more time without the backing track one two three four and you can hear in my recorder playing here i'm really using my tongue for those quavers Tap, 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 tap. Really use the tongue. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to play this line here about four or five times. Off you go. Right then folks, so recorders at the ready, no playing, let's start the backing track. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Get ready to go again. Three fingers pushed down tightly. Off we go. Fantastic. Now we're going to play it one more time. And this time it's your choice. If you want to play the top line, you can play that one. And if you want to play the bottom line, then you can play that one. It works together. If halfway through you want to change lines, you can change lines. It's entirely up to you. If you're at home, you can try both. If you're at school, perhaps your teacher might put half doing one, half doing the other. It's entirely up to you how you want to do it. But for me, you can just choose. Right then, guys, here we go for the last time. Hot cross buns. One, two, three, four. Fantastic. If you want to have another go, just rewind on the video. But for now, I'm going to leave you and we'll do some composition. Bye. Hey guys. So composition time today. I'm going to change one thing that I've taught you. I've taught you so far that every bar has to add up to that magic number of four. Today, we're going to just change that rule. Instead of having four today, we're going to change that magic number to three. So each bar is going to only have three beats in it and not four. So I'm going to look at my menu across the top and I'm going to choose a crotchet to start with. And that's worth one. And then I'm going to choose a minim. And that's worth two. And one plus two makes the three so my bar is full so I'm going to add up to three beats my next bar I'm going to put a dotted minim and that's worth three so again it's full only that one note in that bar my next bar I'm going to put three crotchets One, two, three, four, because our magic number today is three. 
and for this bar I'm going to put a crotchet rest and I'm going to put a minim and that is full frog two frogs three frogs frog 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 shh two frogs I'm now going to do my bottom line I'm going to have some tadpole some quavers tadpole frog frog that makes three tadpole 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 that makes three and then I'll finish with a dotted minim which is also worth three there we go so today it's sort of the same as last week but instead of it adding up to four it's going to add up to three and when music is in three time it's called a waltz all right so the first thing we're going to do we're going to clap it together so we're going to clap mine so clapping hands ready all right here we go one two three frog two frogs three frogs frog 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 shh two frogs let's have a look at the second line one two three tadpole frog frog tadpole 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 three frogs brilliant so once you've written your composition I want you to play it on your drum or, or clap it if you're at home okay so that is your first task today once you finish that play the video again so you can see the next task on how you turn that into a composition for a recorder so your first task is to get each bar adding up to three and the menu so i'm going to leave that on the screen now for you guys to copy I would like you to pause your video and create your composition. Okay, so hopefully you've written a brilliant composition. It all adds up to three and you've played it on your drum. So now we're going to choose either a B or an A to play on the recorder. Every circle needs a B or A above it. So this one needs one, two, three, four, five, six, because every circle has to have a note. All right, that's really important. So I'm going to start with this crotchet here. I'm going to play a B. And I'm going to play a B. I'm going to play an A. I'm going to play a B, a B, a B, an A, and a rest, we write a shh because a rest can't be a B or an A. A rest means don't play. Now I've got two circles here, so I'm going to make them two notes A, 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 B. Now remember what we said we need six in this bar because there's six circles. So I've now written A's or B's above each note. So instead of playing it on my drum, I can now play this on my recorder. All right. Remembering the B is the first one and the A is the second. OK. Now, um, I can't hold my recorder and the board, so I'm going to do it with one hand. Remember, you use two hands. Your left hand, which will be the opposite side to me, goes at the top. OK. Right, so have a listen to me first and then we'll do it together. So Mr. Simon's first. Shh. That's the first line. So let's do it together. So get your recorder out. Put your first finger on for a B. Make sure your thumb's underneath. And after three, here we go. One, two, three. Frog, two frogs. Three frogs, frog, 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 shh, two frogs. Did you change to an A here and then back to a B 
and then an A there. Make sure you're changing your fingers. B, and then an A. Let's try it one more time. One, two, three. B, B, A. B, 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 Sh, A. Fabulous. Now have a look at the second line. I start with A, so I need my two fingers on. So I've played A, 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 B, 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 A, A, B, B, B. Your turn. Are we ready? So we start with two fingers and A. Ready? One, two, three. A, 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 B, 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 A, A, B, B, B. Brilliant. Let's play it together. Okay. Just that second line. So two fingers on. One, two, three. Brilliant. Now, you're going to play your composition. I need you to write A's and B's above. Remember, every circle. So quavers will need two above. Okay. And then play it on your recorder. Any rests, make sure you write the shush above so you know that you're not going to play your recorder. So have some fun. I'm going to leave mine on the screen and I will see you next week. All right, guys. Have fun. Bye.